So how was your mining the cash cow? That was great. Um, I went back, I was a little boy, about six years old, and somewhere in a very rural setting in India, and I think it was in the south. It was something 40, I got 1940. Um, I was in a school uniform when it started out. I lived at home with my family. My grandparents lived with us. And Jonathan was my older brother. So my youngest son was my older brother in that lifetime, which was kind of cool. And my name was Anand. I think our family name was Kumar, but I'm not sure. I grew up, I went to school, and I ended up not going, sometimes I, I ended up like going, deciding to go into a spiritual like path. So I found my teacher and ended up spending my life with my spiritual teacher. I didn't get a name for who that teacher was, but that was, I taught in a setting in that, in his washroom, his place, I'm not sure what. And that was how I spent my time, was learning from him um, and then teaching. And um, it was it was a really peaceful life. I died at 86 is the, um, what I got somewhere outside around the ashram in that area. And um, then I, I just got that, it, that this is a part of me and that it's um, something I'm meant to share. And that um, I got the words, you've been called. And that whatever it is that I do, this, this part of me is part of it, has to be part of what my, my mission is on earth this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. so you've already learned from the guru, you already have that wisdom and yeah. that you can be teaching it. And that was a huge gift to, to feel that. It's mm -hmm. now that the other message I got was to tap into that knowledge because it's there. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to go madly searching for it any longer. It's mm -hmm. actually there just to allow it. Mm -hmm. So taking it into the future, um, I saw myself, I just saw myself teaching in some way, shape, or form. There's something to that and, and bringing what I, part, this part of it as, mm -hmm. as part of what I do. Mm, great. Yay.